virtual story time. Yes, this week we are talking about camping. Some of you guys might really like to go out and go camping, so we're going to read some fun stories about that. And we have a really good puppet show about that too, so stay tuned and we will see you in a few minutes. Bye! I'm going to read a story for you called Buster Goes to Cowboy Camp. Not happy. Buster was not happy. Brown Shoes was going away for a weekend of rest and relaxation. Betty was staying with Mrs. Pink Slippers next door. Mrs. Pink Slippers loved cats. What does a cat say? Can you say meow? Mrs. Pink Slippers did not feel the same way about dogs. Aw, looks so sad. So Buster was going to cowboy camp in sagebrush kennels. Buster did not want to go to cowboy camp. Buster was worried about sleeping away from home. Goodbye. Brown Shoes handed Buster's dishes to Red Boots. Brown Shoes patted Buster on the head and told him he'd see him in a few days and then drove away. Buster's stomach flip-flopped. Buster missed brown shoes and Betty already. Poor Buster. Yeehaw! Red Boots welcome Buster to sagebrush kennels with a big cowboy howdy. Red Boots tied a blue bandana around Buster's neck and gave Buster the tenderfoot tour of the camp. God, it's a big camp. Red Boots showed Buster the chuck wagon where Buster would get his chow, the corral for herding and roping, and the bunkhouse where Buster would sleep. Red Boots told Buster to get some shut-eye, that means go to sleep, as the next day was fixin' to be a busy one. Homesick. Buster looked around the bunkhouse. The next dog in the bed was sleeping, sleeping, snoring, and drooling. Buster moved to the edge of his bunk. Oh my gosh, he's tossing and turning. He had a hard time getting to sleep. The bed was lumpy and there were strange smells and sounds. Buster missed Betty's purring. He missed the bedtime snack he always shared with brown shoes. Buster was not happy. He was homesick. Poor Buster. In the morning, Buster heard the rattle of dishes. He opened his eyes. It was already morning. He looked at the dog in the next bed. The dog looked back and smiled. Buster felt a little bit better. Buster ate a few bites of breakfast. Then he went in search of red boots. Wanted. Red boots had set out pots of brightly colored paint and large sheets. The white paper with the word wanted printed across the bottom. Buster dipped the tip of his paw in the paint and dabbed the paper. Buster dipped another paw in the paint and dabbed the paper. He's doing finger painting with his paws. He dipped all four paws in the paint and danced across the paper. Red Boots hung up Buster's wanted poster on the fence. Oh look, it's Betty. Did a pretty good picture for a dog. Roundup. Red Boots opened a chute and balls of different sizes came bouncing out. The campers started running and jumping and herding the balls into pens in the corral. A big red ball came bouncing toward Buster. Buster ducked behind a fence post. Ducked. Buster was not good at games. Buckaroo Ball. Red Boots called Buster over to play buckaroo ball. Buster pretended to study a butterfly. Red Boots called Buster's name again. Buster acted as if he did not hear Red Boots. Out of the corner of his eye, Buster saw a ball coming his way. He turned his head, opened his mouth to yelp, and what do you think happened? Thunk, Buster caught the ball, thunk, thunk. Buster caught the ball again and again. Maybe Buster wasn't so bad at games after all. 
Sunset. Buster gathered sticks. He helped Red Boots build a campfire. Red Boots hung a big kettle of beans and bacon. Yum! Over the fire. Red Boots sat by the fire, played the guitar, and sang cowboy songs as supper cooked. Buster sang along. What do you think it sounds like when all the dogs were singing? Do you think they say, ow? Red Boots loaded beans and bacon into Buster's bowl. Buster's favorite part of supper was the bacon, of course. Before Buster knew it, the day was over. Hit the hay. Red Boots told the cowpokes it was time to hit the hay. Tomorrow was fixing to be another busy day. They were going to be digging for gold, practicing rope tricks, and making shiny sheriff badges. Buster could hardly wait. Partners. Buster walked back to the bunkhouse with Snarkle, the dog from the next bunk. Before the lights were out, Buster was sleeping, sleeping, snoring, and drooling. The end. And there's all different kinds of camp. You can go camping overnight in a, t in a tent, or you can go to sleepaway camp. And so we're gonna read about Sunny the bunny when she goes to camp. My name is Sunny and I like to bake. I am best at making red velvet cupcakes. That sounds really good. I read lots of books. Bikes are fun too. Sometimes I'm frightened by things that are new. My mom signed me up for a camp this summer. I'm thinking that it just might be a bummer. She said I'll have fun, but I am uneasy. Even thinking of camp makes me feel queasy. My mom hugs me tight and sends me away. I am leaving for camp. It is the first day. I walk out the door, then I say goodbye. I look at my mom and let out a sigh. I get on the bus and sit in the back. It is a long ride, so I eat a snack. Inside my lunchbox, there are little treats packed in two baggies, our carrots and beets. When we get to camp, there is a big crowd. They cheer and they holler. It is very loud. I'm missing home, which makes me feel sad. I want to be with my mom and my dad. Now it is nighttime. We build a fire, stacking the wood higher and higher. I'm making new friends. It is only day one. I'm starting to think I might have some fun. I get a surprise. Now I feel better. My mom and my dad have sent me a letter. Sunny, we love you. We miss you so much. At home, we're all good, but please keep in touch. My new friends and I are ready for sports. We grab a red ball and head to the courts. When we all arrive, I stand in a square, then I pass the ball. It flies through the air. During ballet class, I learn some new moves. I work really hard. My spinning improves. At the end of the class, we all put on shows. I watch my friend Panda on her tippy toes. We head back to camp where our counselors say, we planned something fun. Let us lead the way. I wonder what it is. We freeze in our tracks. I lean forward to see what all the good smells could possibly be. I see some popcorn being passed out. A movie is showing about a Cub Scout. I go to the lake and wear a life vest. I'm sailing so well, my friends are impressed. We eat our lunches and nap for a while. And when I wake up, I yawn and then smile. I like camp so much. I love every day. This place is so fun and I want to stay. I hop to my room and grab all my stuff. I need my hairbrush to puff up my fluff. The big camp party is themed Hawaiian. I get to dance with penguin and lion. What do you think lion sounds like? Roar. At a big mountain's edge, we rappel and climb. After we finish, it's almost bedtime. We pack up our stuff and go to our beds. Dream of tomorrow, fill each of our heads. Now we are ziplining over the trees. My fluff is all messy because of the breeze. 
I'm really nervous to go up so high. My friends say it's fun, so I guess I will try. Just being very brave. Tonight the event is our camp talent show. All my friends are here now and ready to go. My song won first place and everyone cheered. I've already picked out a tune for next year. We roll out our mats, then take puppy pose. We stretch out our legs and wiggle our toes. Time to pack up, we are going away. Camp is now over, it is our last day. She did so much fun stuff at camp. I grab my camp trunk and head to the gate where all of the grown-ups eagerly wait. I see my parents and hug them so tight. I tell them the stories of each day and night. I get in the car and put on my belt. I tell them about the fears that I felt. I talk about all the good times that I had. I am going next year and I am so glad. I did make some friends and memories too. I'm no longer scared by things that are new. Mom says, that's great. I am glad you had fun. We are so proud of you and love you a ton. The end. We went camping, just me and my dad. Dad drove the car because I'm too little. I picked the campsite, but someone was already living there. So I gave it back. We found another campsite nearby. My dad was tired, so I pitched the tent. We made a campfire. I found the wood and my dad lit the fire. I wanted to take my dad for a ride in our canoe, but I launched it too hard. Uh-oh. So we went fishing instead. My dad took a snapshot of the fish we caught. Then I cooked dinner for me and my dad. But a big bear stole our fish. He was very big, so we let him have it. We had eggs instead. After dinner, I told my dad a ghost story. Boy, did he get scared. I gave my dad a big hug. That made him feel better. Then we went to bed. I stayed up with my dad and let him read a story to me. We slept in our tent all night long. Just me and my dad. The end. We hope that you enjoyed this camping themed story time. And as always, we do have a cool craft for you this week, which you can come into the library and get your supplies for, or call us and we'll bring it out to your car, whichever is easiest for you. The video for that will go up tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that you have a super week and we'll see you next time. Bye.